Futurism. Today, we're at the World's Fair Nano in Brooklyn, New York, talking to the planet's leading experts on synthetic biology, flying cars, and more. You won't want to miss it. To begin with, what's wrong with our current transportation industry? One of the issues that we're seeing is the commuter from outside of the urban area, getting into the urban area, is finding it challenging. If I can reduce that time and be a little bit more productive, that makes sense to me in my life at least. Why flying cars? How do you think they could help perhaps alleviate some of these issues? Well, it's an innovative approach to providing a solution, I think. Flying cars has been a dream for a very long time, 100 years, and it's really interesting that PAL-V took a very different approach to the flying car. They've actually used some very old technology to create a new product. Uh, and can you speak a bit about the types of technologies that you currently have at PAL-V? So we use a gyroplane format for flying, and that was invented early in the 1930s by a Spanish guy called Juan de la Sierva. So we used another relatively old technology from a Dutch company called Carver, which gives us a tilting cab on the vehicle, and that allows us to lower the center of gravity of the vehicle, and we can drive on the road in a very performant manner. We've got a very uh, interesting setup. We have a twin-engine aircraft and a single-engine car, and that allows us to drive about 850 miles on a tank of gas. Oh, wow. So it's actually a pretty well-performing car as well. Looking at the future of transportation, what developments do you see taking place either with our infrastructure or specifically in relation to like flying cars? The government in Holland have actually been looking at putting short runways on the side of their highways. So when you come across a point where it's, there's congestion, if you have a flying car, you can pull off and you can fly. And I think it's it's small leaps in thinking that will lead to us revolutionizing transportation. If there was one thing that you could tell people about the future of flying cars or the future of transportation, what would that thing be? Oh, to me, the freedom of three-dimensional flight, if you have not experienced it, is unbelievable. But really and truly, when you get up in an aircraft and you can go almost wherever you want to within the regulations, that's just a very, very cool feeling.